What's going Let's on? Go. Welcome back, everyone. We got two sick beasts behind us. We got the E63 S AMG versus M5. And you know, it's M Power versus AMG. You know, and these cars are so special. If you ideally had only one car, this would be it, right? So this is a little bit of a homecoming because we got Sunny's old M5 back Woo. in the mix of it. And then we got this new E63. And these guys are all souped up. Yeah, We're gonna man. see which one is a little bit faster. Sonny, tell us about the specs, man. Yeah, so thank you, Eric, our homeboy, for lending us this E63 S AMG. This one has the Tech Tech ECU. Tech Tech. Super Sprint downpipes with 200 cell HJS cats. It's got a Brabus mid and rear section exhaust, and it's got BMC filters. So it's pretty damn modded. And I remember when we went to the dyno, it was roughly the same numbers as the M5. Which was? It's about 690 to 700 at the wheels. At the wheels, wow. At the wheels. Okay. Okay. And we got over 950 to 1,000 Newton meters of torque at the wheels. Well, and then the M5 is similar? Yeah, the M5 is similar. Full exhaust, downpipes. ECU. ECU, but we went with a MG Flasher ECU. Okay. Even Tori, carbon fiber, cold air intake. And these cars are all four wheel drive. Okay, okay, yeah. So traction won't be much of a problem. Both these cars have 21 inch wheels. M5 has the HRE three piece. The E63S AMG has a one piece monoblock Brabus wheels. And they both have carbon ceramic brakes. So today, you know, we're back at our old stomping grounds, yep. man. I can't wait, we're gonna do a couple runs. We're not gonna show you guys how fast, but we're gonna be safe. Yeah, safety first. Safety first, but we're gonna have fun. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do a couple pulls just from a dead stop. Yeah. Rolling starts on this beautiful autumn day. Yeah, Look at man. This weather. Look at these t-shirts. Look at this long sleeve. This is the new shit coming at you. That's right. We're ready for fall and winter, man. So if you guys are interested in this, watch out for the new drop. So let's get on our way. We're gonna be driving these things. We're gonna have some fun. And uh, you know, we'll let you guys know how we feel about the two cars later at the very end. So let's have some fun, brother. Yeah, man, let's disturb the peace, dog. <laughs> let's go. Since 2019. <laughs> <laughs> So fun. 
<laughs> I think they were neck and neck. Like, honestly, I I can't even tell. Like, there's a couple times where, like, I shifted a little bit late. Yeah. And you would pull away. I had that one run where it was just perfect, and I think I was a little bit faster. Yeah, I mean, we did a lot of runs. Sometimes you got a better start. Yeah. Sometimes I got a better start. I had a couple wins, you had a couple wins. Yeah. Very different variables that could factor in with the results as well. Yeah. Just like you said, sometimes you misshifted. Yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. I misshifted. I don't know, man. Who do you guys think was faster? I think these cars are so neck and neck. Um, you gotta like shift right on the spot. Right when it hits that like red line, you gotta pop it. Next gear, right? Yeah. And if you even wait a little bit, I think that's night and day difference, right? You know, these cars are awesome. Like, Dude, so much power. And they're really comfortable. I know the Lusso is, uh, you know, a daily driver as well, but it's way more uncomfortable than these cars. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, that's why these are kind of like the daily super sedan. They have super car power, but they're in four doors. Yeah. It's pretty crazy to think about. And the seats have actually have cushioning. <laughs> I know, the seats are super comfortable. Yeah. So I sat in the E63 and it was way more luxurious feeling. Oh. It did not have the sports seats. It was very comfy. It had piano black wood. You know, it had the race mode. The way I want to describe this is I felt like I was in a super fast yacht. Okay, I, I think uh, I think I think the damper could be a little harder. Yeah, right? it was it, was, it soft. was soft, and then there was a couple of bumps along the road where I was. Woo yeah. If you guys sure. see the uh, the GoPros, I was a little bit scared, man. I was sure. sketched out a little bit. I was holding on to dear life for sure. Uh, I mean, straight away, this car, there's no problems, man. It, it felt solid. I, I felt really confident behind it. If there's a little bit of a twisty in turn, um, you can feel the body roll a little bit. So it is yeah. still softer, but I would say that it's a little sportier feeling than this, which all M cars are supposed to be. And that's yes. why I prefer M cars, right? Because I always felt M cars were a little bit more sportier than their AMG counterparts. Yes. Obviously, you have the AMG GT. Ah, uh, the AMG GTR yeah. Pro. Oh. That, I feel like, is track-oriented completely, right? So you can't really compare that with this. If you're talking about, like, sedans, four doors, this is a little bit more sportier. This is a little bit more luxurious. Yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, each has its pros and cons. But why was this thing, like, blurping so much? <laughs> So that is part of the tune. Okay. Uh, that is part of the MG Flasher tune where you can actually custom do everything that you want. And I think Chauffeur, he really wanted more farts, pops, and bangs. So we went back to CPA and I told him to give him that little special treatment. Okay. So basically, he's just like public enemy number one with all his neighbors. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Because that shit is like crazy. Yeah, well, both these cars are super loud. I mean, yeah. even this one, uh, the, the blips, man, it's, yeah. it's loud. But this one is definitely a little louder. I mean, it's not just louder, it's more frequent. It just, it, yeah. it, it keeps on blipping, right? Yeah, you're, you're the obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit obnoxious. Yeah, you're the obnoxious. Hey, but that's how we like it. Fur's a little obnoxious. Yeah, Fur, if you're watching this, yeah. you're an obnoxious little punk. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you know, um, we definitely want to hear what you guys think about these cars. Uh, you know, are you guys an M Power guy or a, you know AMG guy? Let us know in the comments, right? Uh, for me, like I said, I'm an M Power guy. It's either M Power or Ferraris for me. Lifelong, uh, you know, love affair. I've had many, many M's. I've actually only had like one AMG, I think. Yeah, you had that C32 Brabus or something? Yeah, that was a Brabus though. Yeah, that was a Brabus. Okay, anyways, well, yeah, I'm, I'm an M guy. Sonny, what about you? Man, it's tough because I've had a couple M's. I've had a couple AMGs. I'm one of those that loves both. Okay. And if I could have both, I would want both. So that's why I have the S63 is because S63 is even more luxurious, okay. a little more classier on the inside, but when I'm driving it, it actually feels pretty much the same. Okay. And remember, EMC Fest is coming at you, okay? That's right, December 17th. We're gonna have more details coming very, very soon. Be on the lookout for that. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed this dope ass vlog. Peace. Peace.